Do you or someone you know own or operate your own construction-based business? Watch through the episode for a special opportunity with Construction Business TV. Today on CVTV Idaho, we're going to talk about why there is so much road construction happening in Idaho Falls right now. We're going to talk about the progress with the IF Airport expansion project, and we're going to discuss the repairs that are currently underway for the Reinhardt Park splash pad in Idaho Falls. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Tyson, and you are watching Construction Business TV, Idaho Falls, Idaho. Welcome back everyone to CBTV Idaho. My name is Tyson. I'm your video journalist for Construction Business TV in the East Idaho area. If this is your first time on the channel, CBTV is your go-to resource for all of the construction and development projects that are happening in your local area. If you follow the channel, you know that we always start this off with a local construction job post lead. So Knife River Corporation has an immediate need to fill 17 different positions. All these positions are local to the Idaho Falls area. They're all full time. They're all mid to entry level experience, and they have a salary range between 45 to $75,000. What they're looking for is things such as wash plant laborer, concrete general laborer, equipment operator, uh, paving screed operator, chip seal estimator, ready mix driver, welder, cement bulk truck driver, and project manager, just to name about half of them. So if you have interest in any of these positions, as well as how to apply for them or learn more about them, there's a link in the description below the video. On to our first story. So according to the Idle Falls Parks and Recreation, the splash pad at Renhart Park is temporarily closed for repair. They hope to have it up and going quickly. They're gonna send out updates as soon as it's open, and they apologize for any inconvenience that this has caused. If you find value in the content that I produce every Tuesday, you can show your support by hitting the like button below the video. You can also subscribe to Construction Business TV on YouTube. We are on Facebook. We are also on Instagram. Let's hit story number two. So this is gonna be a report on the Idaho Falls Airport expansion project. As part of the airport's ongoing effort to expand and improve the airport's terminal, the city has sought requests for proposals to select the best qualified construction manager and general contractor to perform pre-construction services, including developing the expansion project design, optimizing material and construction costs, and coordinating construction scheduling and phasing and construction services. They have determined that Clayco Inc. was selected as the most qualified proposer for this project. Before we get on to story number three, I have a really special announcement for all my viewers who own or operate their own construction based business. So do you or somebody you know own or operate their own construction based business? This could be anything from road work, residential or commercial construction or development or a trade of any kind. I would love to offer you an opportunity to be showcased on Construction Business TV to share what it is you love about what you do as well as why your company is a great one to hire. If you're interested or you know somebody who is, you can shoot me a message in the comment section below or there's also a link to guest registration in the video description. My top story has been one of my favorite ones to investigate because many of you have been asking why there is such a high volume of road construction happening in Idaho Falls this summer. So I was able to contact a member of the Idaho Falls Public Works and was able to get a pretty comprehensive response that I want to share with you. So the city of Idaho Falls and surrounding communities work with the Bonneville Metropolitan Planning Organization to plan most projects years in advance to provide a safe and efficient transportation system that takes into account projected growth for our community. However, there is always a chance that there is going to be factors that contribute to population growth that we cannot project, such as the growth that we experienced over the past three years as people discover our wonderful community following the changing environment resulting from the COVID pandemic. The larger projects that you guys have noticed, such as those happening right now on Woodruff and 17th, as well as 17th Street and Rolandette, were shared with the public years in advance. The Rolandette project is the result of the 2016 road safety audit, for example. So she goes on to say that there are many factors that play into the construction projects and the timing in which they're accomplished to include available funding, priority needs, contractor schedules, timing of bids, and coordination with other projects planned within the city. 
For example, the city may wait on a certain project if they know there's going to be federal funding available to help pay for that project uh, later in the following year. They may wait on a project because the contractor came to them and said that they are getting ready to develop a particular piece of land and they're waiting for the details of that new development. They may bump a project up in the timing because of some other contributing factor or priority and a project may get put on hold because of unforeseen issues that are out of their control such as what they experienced with the supply chain issues from COVID. So two of the larger projects that they started this year were supposed to be started last year. In regards to the 17th Street Woodruff intersection project, as I've uh, stated in some of my prior reports, they did not receive any bids on that project last year, which is why it was pushed to this year. As always, the city conducts annual routine maintenance to include repairing water lines and potholes, chip sealing, painting strips, etc. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Construction Business TV in the East Idaho area. I want to thank you guys so much for your time and your support and following the channel week to week. If you have any follow-up questions that you would like me to pass forward to some of the higher-ups in the city government, you can leave those questions in the comment section below the video. If you see any other construction projects in the area that you haven't seen me report on, you can also let me know in the comments below the video. Thank you guys so much for your time. You drive safe.